sometimes when I'm dealing with clients and, 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 and talking about uh, how to build a business and how to build a team, how to do the things that you need to work on your business to make your business work, they, they get kind of scared. I talk, I, I talk about uh, building an organizational chart for businesses, position-based, role-based, and then creating a position description for every role in that. And, and people, uh, they get the, the wide eyes of saying, oh, no, oh, I can't do that. I don't, I don't write. I, no, that's not what I do. And, and I agree, not every, it's not everybody's strength. And it's not that difficult. It's not something to be scared about. I had a client who was, was concerned. Uh, and and I, when I started walking them through the process, of how to do it. I was like, okay, how do you write a position description? I mean, most people may have heard of a government job with position description that's five pages long. It's a very daunting document. And it's like, you want me to write that for for my my five employee business? Are you kidding? No, I don't want you to write that for your five employee business. Um, in fact, I want you to do something that's much simpler. To start off with, Usually you have somebody, if you have somebody in one of those roles to write a position description, simply write down a list of 10 things you think they're the, the most important things for that employee to do on a regular basis. Have that employee, without looking at your list, also write a list of the 10 things that he or she thinks are the most important things that they should be doing uh, on a regular basis. Once both lists are done, compare the lists, talk about the lists, and, and then together, I say together, so you have buy-in, make a ranked order of, of those items. Um, because I, I promise you, the list will not be the same. Um, you'll have some of the same things on them that won't be in the same order. Um, but you'll have to wind up working together with the employee to create the list. Now, um, prioritize it. Make the, the top four things. These are the absolutely must be done. Um, interrupt other things in order to do them. Um, for example, maybe answering the phone. If it's a position that answers the phone, whatever you're doing when the phone rings, you have to answer the phone. It, don't let it go to voicemail just because you're working on something else. Um, so so you, you have your prioritized list and, and it's a really simple thing that you've gone through. You now have buy-in from your employee who's already in the position. In the situations where you are off of your list, you say, hey, I really need this thing to be up here, not down here where you put it. Um, you've had that conversation with them so that hopefully they understand the, the reasoning behind that priority. That's a position description. It's that simple.